Hello and good morning. Welcome to episode eight. I think I'm positive. I could be wrong, who knows. Uh, thank you everybody for your continuing support and thank you for watching my last one. I was really surprised actually how many people uh, watched it or clicked through it, but all the same. And also I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's been voting on what me and Heavy Metal Gaming should be doing. So I just thought I'd get there out first. Right. As you can see, it's the, fir the fourth month of December, well, the fourth week of December, and all the all the contracts dried out and everything. And the last time you saw me, I had. I'm gonna buy. A, I'm gonna need to buy a weight for this. I actually had over two hundred thousand in the bank but I've sorry about that concentrating but I have actually bought some land and also I bought a multi -pur well a multi-purpose yes I can say multi-purpose That's better. A multi-purpose uh, trailer, because as you saw from the last episode, I actually had a cow barn, which was very surprising. The wife and Luke, they got the contractors in and they got me a cow barn installed. Talked to a guy in America called Schultz and he came and put me in the barn. So yeah, apparently holds a thousand cows. Wow, that's going to take a lot in uh, total misration to make. But luckily, I have the Amatana's good-looking farm, uh, the uh, productions, which is. The barn, it does all sorts of stuff. It's a great little mod, I do like it. Uh, I did actually have to take these in. The Colossal Harvester and also the Colossal uh, Potato Sugar Beet Harvester. I had to take them in because the colors were all wrong. And also I actually lost the head, the header for this. I've stayed at the original header. I haven't gone with the Unreal. This is a 10 mile an hour, even though it's still quicker than anybody else. This is why they call me Speedy. But this one actually has a nice little trick up its sleeve. I'll start it up. And as you can see, it, this thing has a lot of blue all the way around it. I may change the colors, but you can see it's got uh, like a, like a blue LED or something all the way around it. I may show that late at night, but that was the new update for the Colossus pack. Great, great piece of machinery. I, I'm, I, I haven't gone with the uh, with the big headers. I had to change this colour back because it was a really horrible, horrible blue. And now I'm changing the subject back to work because as you can see it is snowing again didn't really do much on the third just moved around check on the animals had to take some uh, corn and that to the fish and also I had to buy something else because there's been another update on this map it does say it does not require a a new save game so that's okay uh, like a, like I spoke to Matt Trucker about the other save game he said no that's only for uh, for some of the stuff but you don't need to uh, do an update so brilliant now then 
quite easy. As you can see, the chickens now have scratch corn. He's added that. It's a a power one. It's what he's what you're calling a power feed. So I think if you have the scratch feed, that's all you need. But he's also put in a mixer as well, which is a little expensive. I must agree. It's a little expensive and a little large. Here it is, the scratch corn mixer. It takes cracked corn, uh, wheat, sorghum, barley, and also sunflowers. So you need all those ingredients to make the scratch corn, which gives you 125%. And this is how big it is. I could have used it. I could put it down somewhere, you know, and put it down. It's technically, it's a modified mixer when you look at it, because that's where all the uh, stuff goes in. If you're doing a total mix, mix ration. So he's modified a mixer. It's a good one. I mean, it looks really great. I mean, he's done a great, great job. I love, I love it. Uh, yeah. Now then, plus he's also added under pallets as well, because I can understand why. Because there's his crack corn, which is three thousand six hundred for four thousand liters, and there's the the scratch one for three thousand six hundred, same price for six thousand liters. Now then, I do actually have another mod in here, and apparently he's got a a pig food one as well. A little bit more expensive, but again, I've got some mods which do me pig food, so I won't be doing pig food just yet. Now then, although I could go down this road, there you go, pig food, thousand lit, thousand, a thousand for five thousand liters. I could go down that road. Uh, but I've also got this one for the Grain Mill Plus, which does cracked corn, which again is it was cheaper at one thousand seven hundred and fifty, but that's only for a thousand liters. So for some strange reason, he's upped it. So now it makes it fair place. Yes, he's upped it because I'm sure that was for a thousand liters for the cracked corn for that price. That's why I got the other one in. There you go, 920 for 2,000 litres. I mean, that is brilliant. So in fairness, for 2,000, you could get 4,000. So in fairness, if you've got two of those, which would be cheaper than the, the box stuff. Hmm. Yep, I don't want to buy it. So yeah, I'm getting a bit off track here now. But yeah, he's done a few, a few updates. To, I just thought I might mention it. Like I says, I have bought these two fields on either side of the house. I have bought. Let's go down quick, quick, quick. Here we go. I have bought number fifty-seven and fifty-six. I would like fifty-five as well because I want to buy all that. And like I say, I bought those. They were cheap, cheap enough, so I got them out of the way because I'm going to fill them both with popular. I'm doing populars. I've been round with my huge scanner. As you can see, that's how big it scans. <laughs> A little large. I think I overdid it with the scanner, but hey, oh yeah, I don't mind. At least I, it knows what I've got. So, yeah. I'm lucky because I've de-stoned it. But I'm just going to make this slightly larger. This is where I like to use this tool. Allow fields. Because this gives me control. You've seen me use this on uh, on Greenlands. So lower it. It is designed to go on the front, 
got this I can get a nice straight line there we go and I'm just winding in this this field so what I'll do is I'll widen this field I'll do the other field prep the other field and then I will then be back I'm hoping the snow's not going to be too much but yeah it's designed to go on the front it's not one of these ones which are supposed to go on the back and I'm doing on the front no this was designed to go on the front this is how I do all my fields because it gives me a nice straight line and again if I go wrong I just go I just pull back or if or if not I just use the uh, the texture tablet I go over it and then I go back over it so yeah and probably eventually I'll probably get all these into one Is that it that's it that's brilliant so what i'll do is i'll just carry on here and i will catch you guys a little later on well that was a bit silly of me i didn't realize that i do have fun precision precision on and i didn't really look at it and i was trying to do populars in this field it's all ready to go uh, so is the other field they're all nicely prepped up, nice and white. Although they do need, as you can see, they're pretty bad. So they both need fertilizing once I've put the seed in. Now, I was going to do populars. Got this all ready. Bought the populars seed, stuck it all in. And then I looked at the crop calendar. I forgot there's a crop calendar and I can't plant anything till March if I'm doing populars. I didn't realise, I thought you could actually do it all year round, but no, I was mistaken, so my mistake. So I'm just going to put this all to one side and just wait for the for the weather to improve hopefully I'll get some uh, contracts before then who knows but I'm just going to have to wait now to, to see what the 1st of January holds I may, I may be doing some Uh, I may be selling some stock you, you'll probably see a few clips of that if I go sell any stocks but if not uh, I'll try and s see what's to do I always do every day as it comes if I think there's, there's something that needs to be recorded I'll, I'll record it if I don't then I won't but I like to try and give an account of what I've been doing so you like aren't being fooled that I'm actually behind the scenes cheating but I'm not so we're on 52 grand I bought two fields everything's going nicely or as you say everything's tickety boot and I'm just gonna wait this out and see what the first of December holds for me and here we are on the 1st of January I've already been and picked up some cows and it was a the summer's coming out and now it's just started to snow again we are at 
the animal dealers and we're gonna buy the rest of the cows this is my multi-purpose trailer it did I've just changed it from a liquid container to my uh, animal trailer now as you can see this is what it takes it takes chickens cows pigs and horses and I'm hoping somewhere I'm hoping it's going to take sheep as well yes it does it takes them all as you can see bum 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 including the chickens so I'm going back to my Holstein because I do like them and they do go well with this map uh, we're going to buy another 12, so that's another 18,600. I'm going to be spending. I've already prepped. I dropped the first laugh. I've already prepped the the, uh, the pen. So it's got straw and it's also it's got total mixed ration in there. It does not need water. So, hopefully, I should start seeing milk either sometime today or sometime tomorrow. Same with the slurry and also same with the manure. We're going to do some dairy cows to start with. Then, once I've built up enough money, we may actually start doing some of the... beef cow uh, and again pigs will be the last thing on my agenda due to they do take a long time we're gonna go from we're gonna buy a few we're gonna do what we did on FS 18 we're gonna breed them I think I may have two pens, breed them, then separate them, fatten them up, and take them off to be slaughtered. I think that I may be doing that. So I'll have my breeding pen and then I'll have my fattening up pen. If all the uh, stuff's still the same. I may come here and take out the actual rest of the the hot pellets get rid of get rid of those give me some more money because like I say my bank account now is on 42,000 like I say I already knew this was going to be a lean a lean month because there's no contracts nothing really to be done all the fields are all prepped and ready for this year So there we go, here was our first lot of cows. They're all in there, happy as, happy as Larry. Having a good old time. This is where my, oh, the body started producing manure. There you go, I got manure. Manure is working there brilliantly. And this, and these two big huge tanks is my slurry and milk. There you go. I've got slurry and I've got milk brilliant they're doing their jobs absolutely brilliant everything is going along as planned so I'll only have 24 cows to start with if I sell the hops and I feel that I've got enough money I may buy some more cows because don't forget I get a one-to-one -one ratio it's not staggered as before there we go move the hatchery there we go it's 24 this does hold a thousand which is not too bad like I say this section here because if I can I want to try and keep that as the center point so if I put one lot of pigs here 
and then over this side have the have the other set of pigs on this side then this then becomes the central point for the manure so I'll only need one manure point so yeah that's good thinking on my part I think right I do want to close the gate because I don't want them all trying to get out I don't fancy trying to go around this big immense landscape and try picking up my cows and uh, and I've been looking and I'm here roughly about here I could stick my sheep pen will fit and that was what I'm planning like I said at the moment nothing much is happening it's just quietness as I say it's midday I'm just getting ready all my machinery is all gleaming it's all ready to go we're all ready to go ready for the new season so yeah everything's just like I say it's all just going along nicely but no problems I haven't done any other jobs out of the ordinary the crap sorry the let me get this right the scratch grain does seem to be doing a good job actually I say I've still got 5,000 left it hasn't touched the rest of it that's all me backup uh, I've got to figure out is it worth making it or is it worth buying it that's the thing because like I say these these three pens hold 750 chickens apiece so when they're full there's going to be a lot of chickens and I'm going to need a lot of uh, if I'm going to do it that way I'm going to need a lot of the, uh, the scratch this up Ops. pellets I'll take all that I'll take the pellets I'll start this again because I did have to stop it because I did run out of compost which I've actually got now so there we go start that up again I put these down so there's no spawn as you can see no spawn good idea I was surprised that I did find honey I wasn't expecting any honey now I could be a total idiot on this point but for the life of me I can't seem to empty these potatoes can't sell them or anything so if anybody knows actually how to empty these I'll be gratefully obliged so now I'll put them on distribution and they're now going over to the bike to the uh, fuel to the diesel station ready to be turned into diesel so yeah I, I say I've got all these to pick up as well some more cash but we'll see actually how much we get off this because this like I said last time gave me a good yield and I want to see what the yields like and the best thing is is to check where to go hot pellets it's all the way down the bottom I think where are we hot pellets So I could sell the compost, but I'm not going to get much for it, so there's no point. Hot pellets, biogas, yep, the BGA plant again, and I think that was about five grand for a thousand litres. Again, that's great stuff. 
So if I get a lot more money than what I got, I'll probably head back to the to the animal dealers and I may actually buy some more cows. Again, something that I wanted to do. It's another tick on my box, get cows. Then my next target will be sheep. Uh, but my next next target is productions. There we go. How much did I get? 65 grand. Yeah, I can at least get two lots of cows. I'm going to get two lots of cows. And that will still leave me plenty of uh, scratch. Or as we, or as you call it, cash. To see me through. Till whatever time. Like I says. Currently, no contracts available. So again, nothing's really happening. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy two lot, two more lots of cows. You don't really want to see me do that, so I'm gonna get those done in now. And again, you either may see me in January, or you may see me again in February, depending on how it goes. Well, here we are. We are now in the first week of February. Not much has happened, as you saw from the small clip. Uh, I took the fish. It took me two runs. Uh, you saw that one of them um, was... I had a good haul at, at uh, 16K, 16,000 litres, for 38,000 620 and the other one was half of that so it's going to be 19,301 as you saw for those two runs the cows are doing well I've got rid of some of the manure uh, we still we got about 8,000 litres of milk we've got a fair bit of slurry but there's only a few cows in there still we've only got what 48 it's going to take them a little bit longer to reproduce. The sale mixed ration is going down, but that's a good 125% boost. So I don't need to get any grass, hay, or silage. The straw is lasting quite long. And I am surprised about the chickens as well. The chickens are doing very good. That's, that scratch grain looks very good. Which means I don't have to add the either the cracked corn, the the barley, oat sorghum, or the sunflowers. I just need to add the uh, the scratch corn, which I think will be a lot easier for me to actually deal with. As I say, I emptied that. That was about eighteen eight thousand liters of manure, which is not too bad. As I say, the one just started out. Let's just make sure I don't go over somebody's crop as i say I'll, these are my fields these are ready to go it's partly prepped i can't do nothing until march as i say i decided to put this in because we are now on the first week of february and i've actually bought because of the sale of the fish i got a little bit so i bought this barn here to put some more of my uh equipment in so all my equipment now is nicely snugly away i got still room for more stuff ah uh, uh, yes and it uh it does start to slope down here so i think i got it in the just right place i did soften it slightly here 
this section here I can just leave it grass and just cut it every now and again or or I don't know flatten it out or something I don't, and see if I can't uh, put some else down there I just don't know but really that's all there is again it's more snow every time I seem to record the snow comes <laughs> All my tractors and everything, all my equipment's all up and running, ready for this this season. I just can't wait to get this season going. I've got a lot of stuff to do, hopefully. And also, a lot more... And I can start thinking about productions. And the one I want to do is... A vegetarian one. I'm going to do a tofu. There is a tofu one, which I'm thinking of doing. Where I'm thinking of... Pl placing it is at the back where the uh, where the diesel and the manure places but other than that everything's going well everything's all nicely everything's all nicely neat, neatly put away I've got enough space down here to put these two two in nice and long so yeah the guys did a great job sticking out and like I say, I'm going to put populars in them two places, so that's all ready for populars. And that's it. So I'm going to get back to work, and hopefully it'll be probably March by the time you see me now, when we can start doing the planting. Yay! Well, good morning. We are now on the 4th of February. Boy, it's been a long time winter really long uh i think you'll probably see me do the plowing on the next video but here's my dilemma these potatoes here they're boxed 2000 liters uh from the open air greenhouse the camera's a box and i did put in discord how do i empty them and someone says well about a foot off the ground put them in a silo well, here's a silo, short muddy one. Great piece of kit. And there we go. Doesn't matter how high I go or how low. Even if I drop them on the floor. I just can't seem to get rid of the potatoes. And I will take it over to a sell point where I thought I could do it because we do actually have our own farm shop. Which is right here. I always have a farm shop. And this will probably prove me wrong. Here we go. And... No. I tried sticking on a trailer. Going over with, with it with, with a trailer. And... No. So, for some strange reason, I... cannot get rid of my potatoes that are in the box. So now they're just decorative next to the uh, next to the open air gardens. The fun part is I'll be glad for next month, which is not too far away, just one week to go. Although I although I have seen on the I have seen on the the calendar, the crack calendar, that you can actually do canola and cotton. Now, then, I am waiting for popular. There we go. I want to the first. As soon as it hits March, I want to plant popular because I want to see if I can't get two crops. 
I'm hoping that it'll be ready to harvest somewhere in June or July. And then hopefully in August, I am going to get rid of the rest, uh, plant, harvest it, repurpose it and replant it. Because like you say, I can, in theory, I can harvest any time over the year. So that'll give me the populars that is, is, is there so I can concentrate on wood chips for the diesel production. And I've just pressed the wrong button. Sorry about that. So, yeah, these are all being put into storage and they're not being sold anymore. It's all going into storage. Uh, it's doing great. But yeah, I just simply can't get these potatoes out the box from these greenhouses. Hmm. Well, I've got stuff to do and I've got something to show you because as you can see my cash has gone drastically down because I bought another like farm greenhouse and also I've just had to buy a load of corn I had to buy roughly about 50,000 litres of corn which cost me roughly just under 15 grand because the fish are going through a lot of corn so yeah my cows are doing wonderful they're producing milk, they're producing a lot of manure and slurry, all good stuff. And when I came up this morning, roughly about six o'clock, I thought they'd all died because they were all lying down on their side on the floor, which is like, oh my God, don't tell me they've just died. But no, they were just lying down. As you can see, they're all up, they're making their lovely sounds. So yeah, everything is going brilliantly. and wonderfully so i'll go get back on with it and catch you guys a bit later on well here we are we come up to mid-morning and i am absolutely making a killing on the fish this is my first lot of uh of fish and i have just made 40 40 grand for 16,000 litres of fish and I've still got more to go plus I have got a new productions I decided to go into the plant business we are doing bonsai trees bamboo shoots and also cypress cypress i did test it out with the bamboo shoot with the bamboo and we've already got one here already that's why i bought a front loader tool because these i cannot pick up by hand and they're actually at a thousand liters and this was quite a big area when I put it down. This is where most of my money went. If you're wondering. From my hops and my fish sell sales over the uh, winter. And I'll tell you what though. It's become a beautiful day today. For the last week of February. So I am going to now get myself back and I'm gonna get rid of these more fish see how much I can get for this one like I says I am surprised actually how quickly you can the, the this actually works it's only corn and mineral feed uh, the productions from um, um, a Matana that makes mineral feed out of rock and and something else I can't remember what it was but it's a great it's a great tool 
it's helped me out. It helps me out. Uh, especially, I don't need a TMR mixer. I get all my TMR done. I don't need uh, I don't need to do I don't need to get any tetherers for hay because it does it does hay all I gotta do is cut the grass ship it in and it does it all I did sell some fuel to a farmer that's why I managed to buy that uh, productions because I had to level the land out as you saw and it actually cost me about 50 grand to put it down so I had to sell some fuel to a, no to a local farmer who was very much appreciated and I was very much accommodated to do because I'm hoping to buy a another productions which I want to do the, the the granary there is a granary but I want to actually update it I want to I want to change it and one of the ingredients for it is diesel don't know what's going to do with it but yeah that's on my plans as well and I shouldn't have took it here I've gone to the wrong place I should have took it back to mine because it was more expensive oh well I'm gonna take a bit of a hit but who cares here you go 36 but it wasn't a full 60,000 liters so yeah I'm happy with that I'm always happy with whatever money I can get So again we're on 119 grand it's been a long winter i'm i'm happy it's almost over we're getting into the we're almost at the first of march like i says and that's when i'm come the first of march i am gonna plant the populars in because i want to see if i can't get two crops out of that year which is all the best for making the diesel because it will go through the populars or the or I should say it will go through the the wood chip very quickly and also in the process it is making pig food as well so yeah that's for when I get pigs saves me buying in the pig food I don't mind buying the pig food I can justify the costs I've got to get all these vehicles all sorted make sure all the batteries are ready make sure as I say this one works so we've been using that one that, 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 this is my little shunter thing it's not a bad little machine it's, it's got a little bit more oomph than it should have but it's a great machine I mean this has been standing so I'm gonna to have to check that out that's been standing I'm gonna to have to check that out and my harvester and also my sugar beet harvester as well they all need to be clean well they're already clean but they need to be checked over engine oiled and batteries make sure it's all working start them up let them run for half an hour and yeah and I'd be glad to get the, my potatoes in. That's one thing I want to do, is get the potatoes in. Which I'm afraid is going to be next month. But hey-ho. That's the way it goes. I know in theory you didn't want me... You'd, I didn't want you to see me run down towards the truck, so I stopped and paused it, <laughs> so to speak. Now, we are going to pick up the rest of the hops which again this is a great money maker I have to put those barriers in I'll see if not
it will it will just spawn them there and I don't really want that to happen this is where I'm going to stick my animals around here I've got plans for the sheep and the pigs like I says with the pigs we're going to have two sets we're going to have the breeding and then I'll then move them over to the one where they get fatter and then they get taken off to the local butchers we got a fair few eggs didn't realize actually we got five quite a few eggs the chickens are doing rather well yep they've respawned again i think so yeah they're doing very well as soon as they get to a certain age i can then put them put a couple of sets across to another one and get that next hatchery going for more eggs now let's just have a see where the right price is for the corn is there we go and it's at the shop again so that's brilliant news we'll take that to the shop that's more money in the bank let's have a see how much i get for it remember that's 19,000 litres or just under of of hops it's took me a fair bit of time to get it you remember that's not a slow that's not a quick process it's a slow one if you do a one day month then yeah it's going to be quicker but i'm doing a four day month so I'm, I'm hoping once a month or once every two months i can then sell the hops off and get myself a cash injection ready for the next phase of what i want to do and let's have a look well, that's going up nicely that's going up really nicely that's not bad 109 grand i will definitely take that not gonna knock that as the saying goes i'll buy that for a dollar <laughs> What I'll do is, I'll be doing these, but I shan't lease. I'll be sticking these into the, tr into the, into the truck. Get those off, but I'm not going to, as I'm not selling them, I'm storing them because hopefully I'll be able to make juice out of them. They are in a freezer, so they've been frozen. So they don't lose any juice, so they won't go off. That's how I'm doing it and the short smiling hatch she has a freezer faci facility as i'm struggling to get my words out so on this great sunny day as the weather gets starts to go up here in east violent yeah in east violent what a view just i just love that view it's a great view it's great to be back in in the states I do like I do like American maps. I don't like hedges, and I definitely don't like gates. So, on that note, what I'm going to say to you is, uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your continuing support. If you like my videos, please give me that big thumbs up. If you don't subscribe, please do so. If you want to share, please be my guest and please share and as a friend i know says until the next time catch you later